Welcome everybody to my YouTube channel. Um, today I want to show you guys video on um, setting up your autofocus um, settings in, in the controller through the computer um, and basically how you determine that. So um, this, this video is based on the assumption that a ramp test is already done. Um, and so I have this, um, this gauge here. It's what I use um, to not only determine the distance that I have during the ramp test, uh, but then also to actually set it up um, on the, the laser itself. So um, I have, I'm just gonna bump mine down here a little bit. So anyways, I've determined essentially that my, uh, my distance from the bottom of my nozzle here to my material from my ramp test. So again, from the very the bottom of my nozzle to the top of my material is gonna be 0.765 inches. Um, you'll see later we're gonna be working in metric, so maybe it's better to start with metric, but I have mine in inches, uh, my gauge in inches, so that's what I'm using. Um, so again, I, I, let me see if I can get it to focus in there. There we go. So I'm gonna try to get right on this one here um, between the 750 and the 780. So if I run the focus right now, you'll see what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push the focus button here and then I'm gonna push enter. Now, before I do that, the, very, the most important thing is to make sure that this probe right here, not your nozzle, but the probe, let me see if I can get it get you off the tripod, this probe right here, you need to have material underneath it. If you just have material under the nozzle and not under the probe, the probe will slam into the bed. You will have a crash. Make sure you have material under this probe. Okay, so I've pressed the autofocus button or the focus button already. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And you'll see the bed starts moving, hits the probe, and it goes back down. No, so. You may have just received your machine. I obviously didn't. I've gone through this just to make this video, um, but I've, I've tweaked the offsets a little bit. So uh, I know the answers to the questions here, but um, anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my gauge and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it on top of my material and I'm going to measure it. So what you can't see in the video more than likely is that I'm between the 780 and the 810. So that means I'm, I'm pretty much around 795. It's not really tight, so it's a little bit loose. So it's maybe a little bit further than that. Again, I want to be at 765. I'm at roughly 795. So I need to make some adjustments. I need to change that. So that when I run the autofocus, it ends up right there. And it's touching just right. So I'm going to go over to the computer, and then we'll, uh, I'll show you how to make the settings over there. So I'm back at the computer. And I'm going to go ahead and make the changes in Lightburn to adjust the settings in the controller. So that when I press the autofocus button, the machine focuses to the correct distance from the material. The first thing I need to do is make sure that the computer is connected to the laser. So you'll see it says ready right here. It also says that it found KT332N here. Once I have that, I'm going to go to edit, down to machine settings. It's going to bring up the machine settings. You're going to want to click read and then save. When you save, what you're doing is saving the settings. So in the event you make a mistake and you need to replace the original settings, you can come back in here and you can click load and load that file and it will restore the original settings. I don't need to do that in this instance, so I'm going to skip that part. What I do want to do is scroll down to the very bottom to click vendor settings. Now, you're likely going to get an error or a safety warning. You will click yes when you receive that. Once you do that, scroll down. To the U axis settings and we're going to look for home offset millimeters. So I know that my measured distance was 0.795 at the machine. 
I need to get it to 0.765. So that translates to 30 thousandths. 7.795 minus 0.765 equals 0 0.030. That equals approximately one millimeter. So since I was further, my material was further, or my measured distance was greater than the focal distance that I need to achieve, I need to subtract that one millimeter. So instead of 14.1, I'm going to use 13.1. I will click right and then OK. Now, when I run my focus, I should be able to, it should focus to the 0.795 that I used earlier, that I told you was my ramp, my ramp focal distance that I measured earlier. So I'm going to go back over to the laser and we'll take a look if that works. OK, so we're back at the laser. Now, once again, make sure you have material under your probe. That's the most important. Hopefully you didn't move it, but you need to have material under your probe. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run the focus program. So, I'm going to do that by pressing the focus button here and then enter here. It's coming up and then it, goes, it hits the probe and then it comes back down. I'm going to take my gauge again. I'm going to place it in there, and this time I'm at the one between the 0 0.750 and the 780, which is the 0.765. So it's exactly where I wanted it to be. Now, if you find that perhaps you're at a different distance, then all you have to do is measure the delta again. You likely maybe made a, uh, an error uh, in your math, maybe converting from imperial to metric. Uh, maybe you just did it all in metric and that's not an issue. Uh, maybe you just had, you went the opposite way. Um, so again, I had to, I wanted my machine to come closer to my bed. So I wanted to reduce the distance from 0.795 to 0.765. And to do that, I changed my value in light burn from 14.1 to 13.1. So what that number measures is the distance from here to here. So if you need to change that, you need to, you need to increase this distance, for example, then you'll increase that number over there at the computer. So if anybody has any questions, uh, feel free to leave questions in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and uh, follow along. Check me out on my website, www.oeadesignworks forward slash omtechlaser. Um, is where I talk about a lot of the lasers and all the upgrades. Uh, and then also um, www.oadesignworks.com is where I sell my files and um, different, different products that we make too if you're interested. So I appreciate the support. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.